Hello guys, welcome to you. In this video, we are going to see how to use DeepSeek AI to create a login page. It is a very easy and simple process. And by this simple process, we create a PHP files, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, or jQuery files. Also, databases and tables are created from the DeepSeek AI code. It's work with the local server, example as WAM or JAM, or live website or the live server also it's work on the all platform before go to this video if you not subscribe the channel then subscribe the channel and also click on the bell icon so let's go to our video first i go to the my google chrome and i go to the my deepseek and log into my deepseek deepseek ai after that i write a prompt i already write a prompt i want to create a database for my local server same thing with the your live website or the your live server also okay after that here we find with the parameters i give the parameters name surname mobile number email id birth date then go to the birth date and i want to create a that um our database with the our server give the server name give the username and give the password and we can change this thing after the code is created i create this code in the set of, uh, separate files for this connection database connection i create a separate php by the deepseek ai and also database and table created in a separate files we are not using or not writing a single code okay and after that if you want to change this then change it if you're using live server then add your live server server name username and password in this case my password is empty in your case your password is something then type your password and go to the your live server also okay after that here we find you a generate a code html css javascript code for a login system for a login system login page create a new account successful login page welcome page and backend php for registration it is a very imp for registration and login and mobile number and email id are is already then show a error mobile number and email id are unique no not a two mobile numbers same on the our database and dark theme design should be modern and dark theme i copy this code you can type any code that you want or the prompt that you want any type and go to the here and paste it at here and click on this submit button wait for a few seconds now our code generation is started first file is created for the our database okay our code is created i go to the top here you find first step it's created database by the creator database.php second file is database connection it's connect your database connect to the your database it is an imp you can change it if you want to go to the live server then change it here we find registration backend register.php okay database connected and it is connected to your backend with your registration login backend and it is login page backend here is the welcome page after you successfully login this page is appear on our screen front end html css javascript three file first is the style.css second is the login and third is the registration and we are going to run this application by this accessing login.html page and we are going to create this all files one by one so i go to the top and create a database.php file first i am using vamp so i am going to the vamp server if you using live server then go to the your live server files in this case i go to the this pc c drive in a vam 64 ww folder here i create a new file name or new folder and i give log in you can create any kind of the folder double click at here and i go to the view show and file name extension if you're using windows and right click on it click on the new text document and type the our file name yes and i am going to the visual code you can go to the any code that you want i double click and and open it in the visual code so i go to the here in a visual code 
and open this file. So I go to the here and go to the this PC VAM www login and create database.php. Open it. Open. I also go to the here open folder and I select this login folder and select this folder. Now it's open and I also trust this and double click on this login page and paste the our code at this point. I paste this code, copy this code and I paste this at here and press control. Yes. Now I go to the second file, create this all files, database connection.php, copy it, right click on it, new file, add your file name, database connection, go to the here, copy it, paste it here, control yes, create all files as show in the deep seek create all files, copy the all codes to that files and after that go to the our next step. Scroll down. Now run the our login.html. First our create database, create a database.php and after that run our table. Okay. Here we find the our file. First file we run create a database. It's also create a table. Okay. Now I go to the here localhost in a localhost here we find login or type it here login database created successfully table users created successfully. First, we go to the our localhost and check our database is created or not. Go to the here. I refresh it. Here we find login system is created. Click it here. And here we find our user table is created. Okay. ID, name, surname, mobile number, email ID, and password. Okay. Go to the here. Next is we are going to the our file. Our file is I think login.php. Here we find login.html, not a PHP. Hit enter key. Here is the our login. And here we add a first email and password. We are not registered yet. So I type. Here I type password, email ID, and password and login. And here is the error. Now I go to the register and add any name. I add my name in a surname. I add test. In mobile number, I add number, any random number, 10 digits number. In email, I add email, I test email. Add any email num name that you want. And password, the password. And register. Now we register. Now go to the log, our localhost PHP my admin, and click on the user. And here we find new user is added. Okay, and password is also encrypted. Here go to the here login, and I add email. My I add my email, and add password. Okay, I add wrong password now. Invalid password. So I go to the back, and I add perfect password. Now I add perfect password. Click on the login. And here we find welcome message. You have successfully logged in. This is the simple way to use DeepSeek AI to create a login page by the simplest way without writing a single word. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, Comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you guys.